first one. One's going to go with a jab cross and a left upward elbow. And he's going to step in on that left elbow. So one, two. Now, what uh, I've taught in Thailand is that's left hand can then drop down on the inside of my wrist, clear that go up, and then hit with the other. So if we're sparring and he goes with the upward elbow, boom, that moves my head back, clear that, and then you've got a nice big right elbow afterwards. It's a lovely combination. Jab cross, left upward elbow, trap, right horizontal elbow. And the trap is just a simple matter of pulling this up out of the way. So if one's got his guard up, I go up through the middle, pull this out of the way, and then boom, hit him with the right horizontal elbow. Jab cross, upward elbow, trap. Oh, that's nasty. Let's do it slowly from this angle so you can see the hand work. The upward elbow is designed to slip between the guard and crack him in the face. As soon as you've gone in there, if the head moves back, it means the hand is still there. So the head's gone back, but the hand's still there, so all you do is just track that hand down. Here we go. Jab cross, upward left, pin, right hold on. One more time because I love this combination so much. One, two, upward left, pin. Notice how Ron's bringing his body in when he elbows, not leaning. His whole body travels as a unit into the elbow. That's, that's really nice. Okay, second one um, I learned from Master Chai uh, in America is the downward descending left elbow against the cross. So let's say Ron goes jab cross, I throw a cross back. He's going to step his left foot out and go with a left downward elbow on top of my arm. And then follow the right horizontal elbow grab, right knee. Usually two or three right knees. There's three. One, two, three. Lovely. Let's go again. So, is this uh, easy to do? No. Because one's throwing a cross, I've got to, res hey, my head. Got to <laughs> respect this cross. So, you've got to have really good footwork timing, get yourself out of the way, come down on top of this to do it. Not to say it's impossible, it just depends on who you're fighting and your level of skill. It tends to work quite well, I find, for me. from I'm taller and more of a short person, punch me in the head. But it's quite easy for me to come down on top. Go no, no. It's shorter, I'm taller, hit me in the head. Quite easy for me to come down on top of it. However, for Ronnie, it might be a bit harder because he's got to get his elbow above my arm. <laughs> so he might need a little jump. So this might be one for taller fighters to do against shorter fighters. Jab cross. I throw a cross back, downward elbow, horizontal elbow, grab one, two, three. Yeah, nice. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is get out of the way, cross, of that cross. So step out of the way first, jab cross. Really, super slow. I'm going to throw a cross at Ron's head. His left foot's going to slide out, he's going to turn his body and drop his left elbow over the top, which see what it does to my body, right elbow, grab, one, two, three, good. And again, jab cross. I throw the right pad back straight at Ron's chin, step outside, downward, elbow, one, two, three. Keep your left hand up when you do those. Knees. One of my characters is to hook at the same time. Or to uppercut. So you need that hand up. One more time. So this is a, a, an, a very advanced technique. I wouldn't try it out in sparring straight away until you've really wrecked it out. And uh, you've got the right body type for it. One, two. Step out. And we know what grab. One, two, three. Very nice. Third one is a bit of hand fighting. In Thailand, they're constantly, their hands are constantly checking and using their hands to move and trap your partner's hands in order for you to elbow. So one's got his hands up. If I can get on the outside of his hand, I can snap it down, step in, and then hit him with a cheeky little elbow. You can do that on both sides. So if my hands are up and he checks my right hand, steps in, left elbow, good. So my hands up, check it. And all you want to do is throw it away a little bit. Yeah, and step in. You can do the same on this side. Check it, come over the top. So you monitor the hand and then throw it over the top. This is really good for tall, rangy fighters who want to just snap in elbows and, and cut people from distance. So here he goes, right hand, so left hand, his left to my right, scoop it, lead elbow. Or you can go right hand, right elbow. Obviously if you're in range to the elbow, they can elbow you back. So there's a lot of hand fighting going on here where you're trying to control your partner's hands, find the gaps, redirect their hand. One more time. Track the hand, elbow, track the hand, elbow. Cool. So those are some ways that the ties use to trap, follow up with elbows and knees.